The only guarantee of equality, the only guarantee of schools, of hospitals, of Medicare, of pensions, of the things that hold our society together, it's not government, it's the trade union movement. Because it's the trade union movement in this country that fought for Medicare. It's the trade union movement in this country that fought for and is still fighting for TAFE. It's the trade union movement in this country that made the demand that education was a right of all citizens and must be provided equally and everywhere. It's the trade union movement that stands up for pensions. It's the trade union movement that stands up for dignity and in, in the workplace, dignity in retirement. It's the trade union movement that made the demand for superannuation. And if we don't value what superannuation is and what that fight is, we only need to think about our grandparents and the kind of poverty that they lived in. Poverty that for some was only alleviated because strong, confident, bold demands was made, were made by the trade union movement and they found a hearing in government. And let us be very clear about the political reality in this country. I have a lot of issues with the Labor Party. I've yelled at them and I've shook my fist and I've jumped up and down when I haven't gotten what I want. But absolutely every day of my life, I know that I owe my education to the Australian Labor Party. And I owe my hospital and my Medicare and my right to a dignified retirement and my superannuation and my community stability to what the support of unions has enabled the Labor Party to do in government.